How's it going everyone, Brutal Slam here. So uh, today developer Slurs Govi released uh, a PS5 K stuff porting tool, uh, which is basically porting uh, PS5 K stuff to PlayStation 5 firmwares 3.10 up to 4.02. Uh, also 3.00 has been added. So this is basically for running fake packages on PlayStation 5 firmwares uh, 3.00 up to 4.02 uh, this tool will allow you to port the ps5 k stuff to your firmware this is for people who are on a lower firmware and they don't feel like updating so this tool is a script as you can see here this is the script in question this is the ps5 k stuff porting tool okay so this is the script and the instructions are here so the instructions are here and they are quite lengthy uh, this is kind of like a bit complicated uh, process so the first step is that so before we go to and read through this uh, let me just tell you that developer Zico has already ported uh, K, K stuff to 3.10 and he ran a fake package on the PlayStation 5. Uh, also, 4.00 has been ported and 4.02 will be next. Uh, also, uh, Starsgovi has added the uh, support for 3.00. Okay, so firmware 3.00 has also been added, uh, theoretically supported but not yet tested. So, 3.00, 320, 321, 4.3, 450, 451. These are all the PS5 firmwares that the uh, fake packages work on. Now, uh, developer uh, Zico is also working on uh, 4.02. Okay, so he ported 4.00 and also working on 4.02. Now, the instructions are a bit lengthy. So here are the instructions. First of all, you gotta make sure that the PS5 is jailbroken and running the exploit of choice with an elf loader. Okay, and then you have to use Linux. So unfortunately, this does not work with Windows, so you will have to use Linux. And also it does not work with a Windows subsystem for Linux on Windows. So you will have to use uh, a Linux. Uh, you could just try to use a live uh, live installation of Linux on a USB drive and do this you don't have to install Linux on your PC so You will use Linux and then you will clone this repository uh, Slurs Govis repository Okay, once you you're gonna open the terminal and you're gonna clone this repository and then you will just move to uh, the right folder uh, on the terminal by going to uh, change the directory and then you will go to the porting tools folder okay this is the porting tools folder uh, once you're there you're gonna create a JSON file JSON file and you're gonna name it symbols and in that same folder the contents will be uh, this line of code okay with all proc offset once you do this and you create this JSON file you will find you will have to find the offsets for your own firmware by searching Spectre Devs uh, GitHub. You're gonna go here. You're gonna go to Documents, and then you're gonna go to Offsets, and then you will find the offsets for your firmware. Let's assume that you have a firmware like 4.02, which hasn't been done yet. You're gonna click on this, and you will have the offsets for your firmware. So once you have the offsets of your firmware, um, you're gonna have to, uh, okay. So you're gonna have to replace the uh, all proc offset with your uh, firmware offset. But before that, you will have to convert it, okay? So you have to search for this offset kernel database all proc and then you will have to convert the hex value that you find there to a DEC value you can just google it on google you just type hex to DEC converter and you will just copy and paste and then you convert it once you have it converted to DEC you will just go to all proc offset and you will change this value 
with the deck converted value that you have. So once you've done all of this, you're gonna have to install uh, three things on your uh, Linux. So you're gonna have, you, you need Python 3, and you need GBD tools, and you also need Yasm. So once you're done, installed all of those three, you will just run the script with this command, Python main, if your file is still named main and you did not change it, symbols JSON, and then you will type your PS5's IP address here, and then you will type the port here, and then kernel data bin. So the kernel data bin is the name of the uh, you know, kernel data bin is going to be dumped into the porting folder. So this is actually the naming you're going to give to the bin file that you're going to use to uh, run fake packages on your PlayStation 5 firmware. So once you complete all of this stuff, you will have kernel data bin dumped into the porting tool folder and you are done. Uh, simple JSON will have also been updated to include needed information. So this is a, a very lengthy kind of like complicated process for people who are unfamiliar with this kind of stuff. Uh, this is for people who are on a lower firmware that uh, do not wish to wait to use ETA hand. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is the new news about the PlayStation 5, uh, PS5K stuff being ported to other tools from 3.00 up to 4.02. Regarding the PlayStation 4, a new version of PlayStation 4 Cheats Manager has been released, which is version 1.2.0. Uh, he added, uh, developer uh, Bacanero has added the MC4 format decryption. A few days ago, he released a tool to decrypt MC4, and now it has been added to uh, the uh, Cheats Manager. So MC4 format decryption, these are the uh, change log. So MC4 format decryption, you will parse and display codes from MC4 files and you will export them to MC4 as an XML. So tag cheats files by format, add option to delete all local cheats patches plugins. So he added an option to delete all of the local cheats patches and plugins. Uh, network proxy support based on your system, updated the, UA, the UI assets game filtering by title id has been fixed includes the latest cheats pack so this includes the latest cheat pack from december 30 uh, you will find new cheats for new games have been added and it has been updated to the uh, latest version this is the latest version of the D, uh, cheats pack so this is all for the playstation 5 and playstation 4 uh, news today um yeah uh that's it uh take care i will see you soon should anything else comes up see you